Right guys, more questions coming at you. We've got Steve Buzzo who's helping us answer a few questions from the Ask Golf Guru app. Let's give this guy a question about launching with his driver. You launch a bit actually with I your driver, as there. in with his feet. He physically oh, launches. I thought you were being nice. Not the ball, no. <laughs> Me? Let's see. Yeah, absolutely. Let's get stuck in. Right, Steve. Hi, Mark. Great tips from the new app. I'm currently having trouble with my swing and have noticed that I sway too much in the backswing and my left heel leaves the ground. Will this affect my swing and hip rotation? First of all, sway too much in the backswing. I presume he means that he sways, laterally moves. Definitely get rid of that. I'm not a fan of that. Just take that out. That will affect things. It affects contact a lot, doesn't it? Well, it tends to make path go a long way left as a generalised rule if he's swaying. And then, so Ian, if, if you take it to the extreme, what he said, he sways and then jumps. I mean, he's, his path's going to be going left, probably, because he's just so far behind the ball as he's coming to strike it with his rotation. Get rid of the sway, definitely. Easy tip. I just get people just get their right hip. Just feel like they're moving it back. Just focus on the sway, recognize it as the movement, feel what it feels like, and then change that feeling for a rotational one. It just fixes it straight away for most people. Um, what about left foot coming off the ground at impact? I mean, that's a big no-no from my years. Faldo led better coaching and that kind of thing. But nowadays, yeah. so many of them are doing it, aren't they? It's a well, powerful it's a, move. Well, it's interesting. I've been doing some power work, some long drive stuff with Gorilla. Yeah, yeah. And if, if I asked him to keep his left foot on the floor. Oh, he slows down. Yeah, and I would be hurting his knee. Right, because of the amount of yeah. twist and pressure he's putting yes, down for exactly. it. Exactly. So if, it might be releasing, it's it's actually letting pressure away from the ankle in the knee. Absolutely. So you're trying to change it so it looks better. Yeah. And actually you end up hurting yourself. Yeah, yeah. So that's something to bear in mind as well. I mean, for me, Unless you are very skilled, so a low handicap, a left foot coming off the ground for me is, is not a great thing for no. people. I think it can, if you're not striking the ball out in the middle of the club a lot, it's certainly yeah. not a great thing. Um, but if you're a low handicap who hits the ball very well, I know if I try and do silly fast swings on the launch monitors, if I hit and jump, literally take off, yeah. My club head speed goes up six, seven miles an hour. I mean, I hit it much yeah. further, but I feel like I've got no chance of hitting fairway consistently that way. Um, you might find as well that the left foot comes off the ground because again, like we said at the start, if he sways and then tries to the turn, all the pressure pushing yeah. down this right foot, very easy to put that left yeah. foot on the ground. Try a few swings, just for argument's sake, where you start with 70% of your weight on your left foot, turn on your back swing and keep that weight forward. That will stop that swaying on the way back. And then hit some shots from there. See if your left foot comes off the ground. There's probably a good chance it doesn't. Back to your point about fitness and stresses and what have you, you'll probably find that you're, you can or can't do that. And if you can do that, then there's no reason why you can't move into that position. But I think it's what you're saying is it's spinning because there's no weight. Yeah. I'm saying with Gorilla, it's spinning because we've put loads through it. Yeah, yeah, so it's absolutely. Kind of which camp are you in yeah. to decide if I would guess. Yeah. that he's in the one on the back foot yeah, I would sending well. that kind of question. I would as well. The more skilled players, I mean, you've got, is it Reed? He takes off with his left foot. Bubba definitely takes skilled. off right foot. Skilled. And Mr. Steve skilled. Butter also <laughs> takes off with <laughs> his front zoom, foot. Zoom in. Yeah, <laughs> lift off. So some of the best do it, but he is doing it while having it going this way, trying to push off it. You're yeah. going that way yeah. rather than, so Steve's going that way rather than this way which is causing that left foot to come. Yeah, and energy out towards the target, isn't it? So yeah, yeah. Don't want it. Going back there. Yeah. Good stuff. Thanks, Steve. Thank you. Thanks for sending the question. Let me know if that helps, if that makes sense or not. I'd love to hear. Post comments down below. So if you like what's going on here, don't be afraid to subscribe to the channel. Also, thumbs up the video, post comments. Love to hear what you guys got to say. Let's keep it social. The more we talk, the more we share, the easier this game will get for, uh, for everybody. So if you want to find me on Facebook here, you can find me on Facebook. If you want to tweet me, find me on Twitter here as well. Just follow the links all in the description. Come and join the show. Get active, get involved, get playing some better golf. Thanks for watching.